Inventory turnover is one of the most important metrics used to evaluate inventory efficiency. This video explores what inventory turnover is, its significance, different calculation methods, interpretation, and strategies to optimize it. Let's start. What is inventory turnover? Inventory turnover measures how efficiently a business sells and replaces its inventory over a specific period. It reflects how often a company's stock is cycled through within a given time frame. This metric is essential in evaluating inventory management effectiveness. Similar terms of inventory turnover. Inventory turnover ratio, a ratio that shows how many times a company's inventory is sold and replaced during a given period. Inventory turns, another term used interchangeably with inventory turnover, representing the frequency with which inventory is sold. The standard formula for inventory turnover ratio is Inventory turnover ratio equals cost of goods sold, COGS, slash average inventory. Where COGS equals cost of goods sold during a period. Average inventory equals beginning inventory plus ending inventory slash 2. Why is inventory turnover important? Inventory turnover is a critical metric for businesses as it affects several key areas. 1. Financial health. A high turnover ratio indicates effective sales and good inventory management, leading to better cash flow. A low turnover ratio may suggest slow-moving inventory, leading to increased holding costs. 2. Profitability. Fast-moving inventory means lower storage costs and fewer obsolete products. Optimized inventory turnover can improve net profits by reducing excess stock expenses. 3. Customer satisfaction. Efficient inventory management ensures product availability, leading to higher customer satisfaction. Example, if a grocery store sells out perishable goods quickly, it reduces spoilage and ensures fresher products for customers. Variance of Inventory Turnover Calculation 1. Basic Inventory Turnover Ratio Inventory Turnover Ratio equals COGS slash Average Inventory Example Calculation COGS equals $500,000 Average inventory equals $100,000 plus $150,000, slash 2 equals $125,000. Inventory turnover ratio equals $500,000 slash $125,000 equals 4 times. This means inventory was sold and replaced 4 times in a given period. 2. Inventory turnover based on sales. Inventory turnover ratio equals total sales slash average inventory at selling price. Used in industries where sales price is more relevant than COGS. Example calculation. Total sales equals $700,000. Average inventory at selling price equals $175,000. Inventory turnover ratio equals $700,000 slash $175,000 equals 4 times. 3. Days sales of inventory, DSI. DSI equals 365 slash inventory turnover ratio. Measures the average number of days inventory is held before being sold. Example calculation. Inventory turnover ratio equals 4. DSI equals 365 slash 4 is equal to 91.25 days. This means inventory sits for about 91 days before being sold. Interpreting inventory turnover ratio. High inventory turnover ratio. What it means. Indicates strong sales and efficient inventory management. Suggests lower holding costs and reduced risk of obsolescence. Potential risks. Might indicate stock shortages or frequent stockouts, leading to lost sales. Could result in higher supply chain costs due to constant reordering. Example, a fast fashion retailer like Zara has a high inventory turnover due to rapid sales cycles and continuous new inventory. Low inventory turnover ratio. What it means. Suggests slow-moving inventory, leading to increased holding costs. Indicates potential issues with demand forecasting or overstocking. Potential risks. Can result in cash flow problems as money is tied up in unsold stock. Might cause product obsolescence, especially in industries like electronics. Example, a furniture store with a turnover ratio of 1 or May 2nd have excess stock, leading to increased storage costs. Strategies to optimize inventory turnover. 1. Improve demand forecasting. 
use historical sales data and AI-driven analytics to predict demand accurately. 2. Adopt just-in-time, JIT, inventory management. Reduce stockholding by ordering only when needed. Example, Toyota's JIT system minimizes excess stock and optimizes production. 3. Optimize pricing and promotions. Implement discounts and promotional strategies to move slow-selling inventory. 4. Strengthen supplier relationships. Work with reliable suppliers for quicker restocking and reduced lead times. 5. Leverage technology. Use ERP systems like SAP to monitor inventory levels in real time. Implement RFID tracking for better inventory visibility. Conclusion A well-optimized turnover ratio helps in reducing costs, improving cash flow, and enhancing profitability. By understanding different calculation methods, interpreting turnover ratios, and implementing strategic inventory management techniques, businesses can achieve sustainable growth and competitive advantage in the market. That's it for today. If you like the video, the please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.